Hello everybody and welcome back to British Airsoft, presented by your host James B. Today we're reviewing the Soviet-Russian GP7V mask. So I believe this was adopted in the late 80s and it's a civilian version of the PMK1. So it comes in this green bag. It also comes with a bottle, but my bottle is broken. You get yellow ones and white ones. I think the white ones are the military, the yellow are the civilian. Although that might not be correct. So this is quite um, a steampunk looking mask. And I believe it was used in the remake of My Bloody Valentine, actually. And if you look, the bag, very simple. No compartments, just a big, well not big, it's average size bag. So this mask in particular is a size one large. And it still hurts to wear it because it's so tight on my head. So, as said, this is the V variant, the civilian one, which is the GP7. So it does, in fact, have a drinking tube. And because these were made by the end of the late Soviet Union, they don't have great quality control. So the threads aren't great, but they will work. It has round eye pieces and they didn't originally make outserts for them has a big old voice diaphragm here and then you actually have a exhale valve and then it has this separate exhale valve which redirects some of the air from the first one like that this particular model was made in 1992 so actually it was made in the Russian Federation. If you look inside the mask, you can see it has a weird sort of peripheral seal, almost like it could be stretched over your head, which I've tried before, but I'm not gonna do again because I don't want to take these bloody straps off because these straps are infuriating. So pull it over your face like this. It's a bit hard to get on, but actually I think the peripheral seal is quite comfortable but if you look it sticks out from your face a lot and this has one of my favorite voice diaphragms on um masks in general because it sounds really good to me so as you can see one of the issues the peripheral seal is right up against my eyes so we're not going to try out the drinking tube today because my bottle broke because it was so shit let me grab the pieces so as you can see the bottle broke because it was useless but apart from that the mask is generally okay as said the filter screw isn't anything to ride home about but it is tolerable one other issue with this mask is when you breathe in with a filter on, the air goes up and shoots into your eyes. However, let's get a filter on. One other notable issue with this mask is, compared to other masks, it doesn't let much air in, so it's a tad hard to breathe in it. And also, the rubber's so soft, you can see, the filter weighs the mask down. And if you had a very heavy filter, I imagine it would break the air seal. So as you can see, the filter wobbles. Because the rubber's just way too soft. It's like the old GP5 rubber, almost silicon-like. It is beautiful, but... Yeah. So back on the line of the drinking tube, since that's one of the selling points of this as a civilian mask, I'm just going to take this undone because it constantly comes undone, is the drinking tube's not great. Um, it's very hard to get it in your mouth. Let me try. And it just seems like a great way to break the air seal. So I do have it in now. It's just squeezed between my teeth. However, that was very hard to get in. But if you were in an emergency, I guess, might be worth it for you. Although, 
I can't imagine everyone would have been given a bottle anyway, knowing the logistics in the end of the Soviet Union and in the 90s in Russia. So yeah, overall, I think this monster looks quite cool and it would be good as a film prop. Prepper's absolutely not. Just, just no. It was their attempt at an M40-S10 kind of thing, but it did not work. The straps are probably the worst part of it. These are impossible to adjust. I had to get a screwdriver under there to adjust them. Even then, it was a pain in the ass and I never want to go through that experience again. But yeah, this mask is not one for preppers. Plus it uses ghost filters, so useless anyway. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, you don't have to. Peace out.